Hello, I'm Philip Duncan. Thanks for joining us as we take a look at the weather for the last full week of July and the last full weekend. Hard to believe that it's going to be August next week. So this is the animated wind map and this week's a little bit different because we've kind of got two things that are working against each other. We've got a colder southerly and a milder westerly and they're sort of pushing into each other across the week. So this week starts off with um, one system creating both of those wind flows. It's a small area of low pressure and so you've got this south to southeast airflow over the South Island bringing the snow showers, bringing the colder weather and some frosts as well this week, especially once this area of high pressure, which is very nearby, moves in towards you. For the north, you've got the westerlies. In fact, they're still coming in as a nor'wester. And while the temperatures have dropped a degree or so for some areas in the east of the North Island, your coldest weather doesn't really arrive till Tuesday and Wednesday. So let's have a look and see what is going on. There's that small area of low pressure. It is still there on Tuesday, and you've still got those showers lingering around the middle part of the country. Uh, the winds, they're a little bit all over the place. Generally, um, an easterly sort of, or southeasterly airflow in the South Island, and a bit more of a southwesterly in the north but it's a pretty variable day, just a few showers, mostly stuck around central New Zealand. By Wednesday, the next system is building, and this is the one that brings in the westerly flow for the country. So you'll get that more so on Wednesday with a few showers along the western side, not too bad, still fairly dry, but like I say, it is a colder day for many areas, especially over there in the east. But it does warm up by Thursday, and the frosts that you might have got on Tuesday and Wednesday, especially around the South Island, uh, they look like they'll start to disappear. You might still get one more coming in then on Thursday. In the north though, the westerlies are building and the temperatures go back to being above average, mainly at night time. So we're talking about double digit overnight lows for some in the very north, Northland for example, that's possible. And then you're sort of talking about eights and nines for many other areas. So it's not your typical midwinter this year. I certainly don't think it's as cold as it could be. And we get to Friday, and this is a big high to our northwest. It's encouraging um, a colder day again, sort of the southwest is coming back up. But again, because of the wind, and the cloud and the showers. The overnight temperatures should be above average in many places, but again, the southern part of New Zealand, the winds aren't quite so strong. They might be a little bit around Southland, but around Otago, Canterbury and the high country, another cold night, another coldish sort of day, about average for many of you. Let's take a look at the weekend now and Saturday. Well, it starts to go downhill again. Seems to be the weekend thing at the moment. Although some people would argue it's always the weekend thing in this country, but high pressure just to the north, low pressure building in Australia. Saturday itself, those westerly winds, they start to tilt back to the warmer northwest and in fact subtropical northwest. So that will push away the colder weather, but it brings back the rain. So the rain returns to the west coast on Saturday with showers in the north, and by the time we reach Sunday, there's that low pressure is moving in, the high pressure is missing us. So you've got that mild northwesterly wind. Might be dry for some areas in the north all weekend, but for many in the west, it'll be wet. And for many in the east, those winds will be picking back up again. So that's the forecast, really, for the next week ahead. We'll catch you again on Tuesday with the next update.